So you want to apply for the International University of Health and Welfare School of Medicine Scholarship. Perhaps you're still um, a high school student, you're considering to study medicine and maybe this scholarship might be you know, your, one of your pathways. Or maybe you're currently a medical student and is thinking of whether or not you should attempt this scholarship, go to study medicine in Japan, or stay in your home country, or go to a different country. Whatever it might be, this, uh, I hope this video helps you in deciding. Um, even if I only help a little bit, um, that would be great. Because when I applied for this scholarship, I didn't really know much at first. So I guess um, I wasn't sure if I should apply for it or not. But after doing some research, um, I decided it was uh, an excellent choice. Now, I encourage all of you to apply for this scholarship if you can because it's an excellent opportunity for everyone. But with most things, before you apply or do something, you should know what you're getting yourself into. So first of all, this is a six-year scholarship to study medicine in IUHW Narita in Japan. And for Cambodia, in order to apply for this scholarship, you have to either be a first year or a second year student of the University of Health and Science. So it's, you have to be a student of that specific university in order to apply for this scholarship. I'm not sure uh, if it's the same for other countries. Uh, they only select the scholarship students from a specific school and not multiple schools. So the first thing I want you to have a read on is this pamphlet. This pamphlet, the International University of Health and Welfare School of Medicine uh, for the team. I've provided the link to the PDF of this specific pamphlet down below so you can click on that link and check out the file. You should read through everything that is in this pamphlet. Read through everything. So the thing I want to focus on in this pamphlet is about the curriculum uh, of the study and if you go to page 11 you can look at the curriculum of IUHW School of Medicine and see what you're gonna study for six years. And they also provide you with uh, the outline of the entrance examination for medical schools in Japan. Now it doesn't specifically say scholarship, but the scholarship, um, the scholarship process is exactly the same as in page 12. You first have your application uh, sub submissions and then the initial screening which is the written exam in English, Math and Sciences. For science, you choose two subjects from, from three which are Bio, Chem and Physics. I chose Bio and Chem. And then you have a second phase screening. Over here it says interview and essay but for me I only had interview, there was no essay. And then the final acceptance which, final acceptance. And you should read through this entire pamphlet to understand more about the School of Medicine. The next important one, this is really important because this is um, specifically about the scholarship program. I can't find this PowerPoint online, so I think I'm just gonna scan every page, compile it into a PDF and then share it. Uh, on Google Drive, so I'll provide the link to that down below. You, you can click on the link and you'll see a scanned version of this. Um, but if any of you can find this PowerPoint online, please do share it in the comments. So you should read through everything because it, it shows you the objective of the scholarship. So this scholarship essentially pays for everything. Yeah, you can look at the your IUHW Medical Scholarship Program, this, this table. It'll tell you um, how much a scholarship is worth and how that money is being separated into all the different parts like academic fee, dormitory fee, living expenses, and so on. And the thing you should know is that, so this scholarship pays for pretty much everything, so you're quite set. So when you get this scholarship, um, you first will have a, an intensive Japanese language program in which they will teach you as much Japanese as you can 
before you enter, enter medical school. The medical school for me will start next year on April and when that day comes um, you're gonna be studying in the School of Medicine and it's gonna last for six years and the first two years will be taught in English and perhaps mixed with some Japanese and then the last four years will all be in Japanese. Once you finish the scholarship, it says here that uh, scholarship students are required to pass the Japanese National Medical Licensing Examination that is held in Japanese in year six at the end, at, at the time of graduation. Once you once you graduate from IUHW, um, you have to pass the medical licensing examination in Japan. And if you don't pass, well, IUHW is not really going to support you after that. Once you graduated and attained the Japanese medical license, uh, you will have obligatory services. Scholarship students will be involved in duties as medical doctors at clinical institutions in both Japan and their home countries specified by IUHW for one and a half times of uh, scholarship periods. IUHW will determine each scholarship student's clinical placement after consulting with the university that made a recommendation of the scholarship student and hearing preferences of the student. Initial period of residency training, two years, in Japan after acquiring Japanese medical license will be included in the above period. So what this means is you study undergrad, six years, you graduate from IUHW, and then you have a two years of residency in which the medical uh, clinical institutions will be will be picked by IUHW, and of course you will you you will get paid, so that's fine. Money, 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 money. You, so you're gonna be a resident for two years, and then after that, you're going to have a total of seven years of obligatory services, which which means you have. You have to work sort of like under a contract. You know, you're not you're not free to choose which which in hospital, or you're not free to choose if you want to specialize instead of work, or or do anything. They did say that most of the years will be spent in your home country, which means for me, um, I have to come back to Cambodia and work here. Um, work here most for most of the seven years or, or for seven years I'm not sure but this service is obligatory and it also says here that uh, duties as a medical doctor at clinical institutions in both Japan and his or her country will be designated by IHW and the wages the wages your salary will be offered based on the regulation of the institution so if you were in Japan your salary will be just like any other medical doctor in Japan but if you come back and work your home country your salary is um, what other doctors will get in that hospital as well. Once you attain this scholarship and then you accepted the scholarship you will be studying for six years but after that you cannot really choose where you want to work you're going to be under this term of obligatory service in which you have to work for nine years in which the first two years is counted as residency the last seven years is duty as a medical doctor that's what they call you'll still be paid that's great but remember you're not free to do whatever you want so really think about that um, if you want to apply that's the biggest point you should know there is obligatory service after you finish studying. Uh, so please finish reading all of this. Um, it, will be, it will be down in the link below. And I hope this helps all of you and best of luck to all of you in whatever pathway you may choose. Thank you.